Alright you guys and welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom. Today is the last and final day of the island. We have pretty much completed it now. It's got all the animals in there and it's got some really unique custom buildings that I wanted to experiment with and build. So we're going to go around and have a look at those and tour. And we're going to start here today at the airport. This is where the private jets come into land. This is an area where it's you couldn't get a Boeing 747 down here because it would absolutely destroy every building in its path. But a little private jet can come down here no problem. Now I did add in some buildings over here, just like bunkers in a sense, where you can go and hide if any dinosaurs come out or there was like a tsunami coming across the beach. You've got somewhere to hide, but I, I kind of enjoy building this. I added in some minor details, like you've got some pallets there and a bits of woods and planks laying about and some rope as well, just to make it look like there's a little bit of activity going on there and it's kind of been used and yeah, just kind of it's not just been brand new and it's not there. You've got again on the roof as well, you've got some cables going on like a little tiny toolbox I built as well and the aircon unit as well on top and a little area down here where you can kind of stare at this giant building while you're waiting for your planes to land and uh, yeah that was kind of how it come together I, originally I just had this building here and then I had the bunker building there or the airplane depot I'm not too sure of the name I can't think of it right now but that was uh, I just added in some more buildings to give it a bit more depth now as I just warned a little while ago there is some severe lag going on in the game and this down to the hotel in the back over here where there is uh, probably 20,000 odd pieces built from like single buildings where I've just completely built things custom and the game has been sapping the resources completely by that so we'll, we'll try and go to that area near the end we're trying to avoid it as much as possible just so this nice and smooth to go through now over here, if you can see, this is the cable car that I originally built, but it's not the original one I built, because the original one I built was connected to a load of stones, and when I selected the stones and deleted some, it deleted the cable car. And because it was in the back, I didn't see it, I saved the game and realized it was completely missing. So I had to rebuild this completely again. I didn't add in the detail inside because, again, it's in terms of time and commitment to this, it's, um, it's very difficult at the moment. But I managed to build uh, the cable car going all around the park. You can see it kind of now. With the lag as well from the hotel, we'll try and get out the view there. It's incredible the amount of lag. Honestly, it's like, I think, 15 frames a second so far. I broke the game already and it's just an alpha. So we have the cable car coming over here. It ventures all the way around. You can see all the habitats and the buildings as well. But if we just venture down onto the path, hopefully try and avoid the lag. I do apologize, guys. It's, it's, it's really hard to play when it was like that. So let alone to just give you a tour as well. It's very stuttery. I just try and keep the camera still as possible. So here we have some dinosaurs. I made a nice habitat. We've got lots and lots of room. Again, the lag. Wow, incredible. And uh, it wasn't as bad when I started to uh, do voice recording. It just seemed to have spiked as I decided to do it. Um, so yeah, they've got a nice habitat here. Got a nice little pond area where they can go and have a drink. Made it as natural as possible to make it look like they're just out in the open. Nothing's kind of like man-made. But you've obviously got a fence here to prevent to protect the guests i'm mumbling my words but, but let's venture down here again i'm trying not to look behind myself because the lag is quite extreme but if i keep facing this way it's okay we've got an overgrown tree there i did go around on all the parts and delete everything but sometimes when you load the game up some things are missing and sometimes you have a random dinosaur somewhere and yeah it's, it's kind of a little bit buggy here and there but overall i've really enjoyed the alpha so far it's been fantastic to build in down here is the hotel. I think maybe we should just get this done with, go through it. It's probably my most favourite building in the whole entire park. I think I put almost two days into that, it was insane. I spent a lot of time building it and I was learning as well, going along the way. It was something I'd never really built before, so it was a really good challenge for myself. I really enjoyed it. Down here we'll take you down to the boats, but we'll go there in a minute. I say boats, there's just one boat. The other one I also deleted by accident. But we'll just venture through here, so we'll just speed up a little bit. There we go, nice little entrance. Now this is where you come straight into the hotel. You've got a reception area on your left. I named it Aaliyah Anthos, just randomly made that name up. I didn't get it anywhere, but the actual hotel is designed from a real hotel based in Italy, I think it is. And I copied the design. Now, the reason I like the hotel is because over here, in the rooms, you had, like, uh, if you had the lower floor room, you had access straight to the pool. So you could literally come out your room, you didn't have to run to a sunbed, and you can go straight to the pool. It was a really, really nice design, I thought. So I, I kind of copied that, not, not to 100% accuracy, but just used it as a base idea. And then, yeah, I, I liked the, the pool as well that had like a floating foliage and some plants and stuff. It was all floating. It was a really nice design, I thought. So I copied that as well. Around here, you've got some beds. 
And over here, of course, you've got the delicious bar. Oh, my camera controls are drunk today. So over here, yes, you've got the bar. I made loads of bottles, made some shelf, made a little area for the staff to get in as well. Some tables as well. A lot of these were made out of the railings in the game. And again, because you can use the resizing on many objects, you can kind of design anything that your imagination wants to create, which is fantastic. You're not limited to a structure size, you can just create as you wish. So I've made some beer pumps as well, we all like a beer, especially me. Um, and over here you've got obviously the drinks on the top as well, and you've got some lights on the ceiling, I just thought we'd add a little bit of detail to it and some foliage as well. Now down here, we'll try and avoid trying to look at the hotel because of the lag. So we'll just venture around here. You've got the sunbeds and the area on the beach. I really like this. I like the vibe that you get because I, I kind of deleted most of the trees on the on the map and replaced them with tropical trees. I feel that makes them uh, gives them more of a holiday vibe, which is what I was kind of aiming for when I was building the park. I wanted it to be not just a dinosaur park, but somewhere where you can say like, you know, I, I'm going to have a holiday there and I'm going to be surrounded by dinosaurs. And you've got a lovely view really into the mountains as well. You can see the cable car, it kind of dominates the whole entire park, but it gives you the tour around. And I think again, it adds, adds a nice touch to it where you can kind of think like you can imagine something like that would be in a park. Oh, bit of lag there as well from saving, but yeah, I enjoyed making the beach. Got loads of sunbeds, little private areas as well. And obviously you've got the back of the exits for the hotel rooms you can well uh, you can see coming down the stairs so you, from the top floor as well they can come down from there and the bottom floor they've got an entrance there so yeah i actually really enjoy building that it was really really good fun so let's just venture over here this is where i decided to build a t-rex habitat next to the hotel i thought that'd be a really good idea and as you can see again i tried to keep it as natural as possible it's it's the good thing about this game is when you're placing your foliage around it's so easy just to like use the brush tool and it just looks right it's really strange it just comes along so well and the rocks as well i think it's always been mentioned that you can put any rock down and it just looks like it looks looks fine it looks right it doesn't look like you've just duplicated items it's really weird how it works and it's really nice how it works So when I originally built this habitat, I was building it and I wanted to make them an area where they can stay. So I made a cave, but if we come down into the actual viewing area, again, I'm trying to avoid areas that have lag spikes, guys. So again, I do apologize. I was going to try and record this in 1080p, but then the, the quality just drops dramatically and I really want you to see it in the best quality. Um, so yeah, you can see in there, the dinos do go in there and sleep. I don't know if there's one in there now, actually. I think there's one over there. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. My eyes are not what they used to be. But you've got a fantastic view into the habitat. You've kind of got 360 like viewing angles. You can go that side. You come through here. It's not obviously it's a very simple design. It's nothing majestic like in, in terms of style and that, but it's just it looks really solid. It looks really protective. So for the guests that want to actually go into the habitat, it's um it's really nice and safe for them. So we're just gonna steam through here really quickly. Again, the um lag is pretty bad, but it's okay. We'll try and avoid this now. We'll try and avoid the hotel area. Again, it's something I really enjoyed, so I do apologise, guys. Just bear with me. We're going to jump over the bushes here. Probably going to get the same amount of lag. Now, if you can see here, I built some pathway. This takes you straight down to the uh, T-Rex habitat. So you can walk around the hotel if you want to get there as well. You don't have to go through the hotel to get to it. And you can see here we've got some Microraptors. So what I've done with those, instead of making them as a separate exhibit or an area where they, uh, you go see them, I just made them natural and part of the land. So... I scatter them all around the island like they're actually just there and they're just wild animals just flying around so I didn't want them to be caged, I didn't want them to have or, or build a custom area, I want them to be completely open but make it as if like it's an area where they go to stay. Now I don't know if you saw there, you've got some, uh, you can see over there they're flying around which is quite nice. I actually thought one flew from the other but I don't think it does that. Again that's just my eyes. Over the back here we've got an underground bunker for emergencies, again you'd have to jump over the fence and run for your life if you're going to do that by not being eaten by the Microraptors as well. And then you just venture down here as well, and this will take you to the corporate area. So yes, we'll just venture down here and have a look at the area. So this is an area that I built, um, like a uh, space where you could take dinosaurs to be uh, healed, to be repaired, to be checked on, even examined or maybe mutated into something else. And if we come out with a high view, if you just look here as well, there's a piece here, I cannot delete that. That is permanently stuck on the island. It's like a little grill or railing that's just stuck there and I can't get rid of it to save my life. So I added in some uh, power units to make it look a bit more industrial style. And the building I originally built was this one. And what I done, I moved it. I duplicated the tunnel. I then added it onto this area, which is the same kind of thing, but I made it bigger to incorporate bigger dinosaurs so they can get in there. So you can get like a Rex in there instead of just having small dinos. 
but you can see as well we got an area for the staff if they want to come out and have like a little relaxation and uh, i had that as well in here but i, I removed the roof uh sorry i added the roof onto it just so that you can um uh, just have a bit of variation in the buildings as well and added some uh, details on the top you can see but as well i added some buildings on the top of the hill here just to give it a bit more style and depth just to make sure that everything's not completely on flat land and you can surround it by some rocks some more buildings down there and you've got a helipad as well for the helicopters to fly in if they want to carry a sick dinosaur maybe they can drop it down here and then they can move across you can see the wear and tear on the grass to make it a little bit more realistic so if we venture back out here again you can see the lag i'm very sorry guys i've tried to lower the settings and stuff but it just it, i can't get rid of it it's my fault for building such uh such items that have so many pieces now we'll just turn around over here so we have the area here which you can come up from the hotel so as you come out of the hotel you've got a spawn area here next to the hotel I just kind of blended it in to make it look i was going to build a custom one um but again i didn't want to add too many more modular pieces into the game because then it'd be at a standstill but you come in here you can come up this path here and you come up this nice little hill actually see if we can go down actually so there's, um hopefully there's no too much uh, lags going on i built some screens floating around as well that one i don't know why that one's there it's a random screen so we just go here as if we're going to be walking up nice and steady now i did notice another thing as well recently is that the paths we're getting these weird chunks cut out of them. You know, it never used to happen. Again, I'm not too sure why. You can see another one there, but again, I just tried to use some foliage to cover that up. But as we go up here, let's speed up a little bit. I'm going to fall asleep otherwise. You come here, and this brings you into the area where you've got your cafe, you've got your where you can get some clothes. And I, put, I built like a little uh, canteen or like buffet area. You know, like when you've got your self service big giant areas in like for breakfasts and stuff where you've got your toast maker and you got all your juices and your cereals and your your, your fried eggs and whatnot my favorite and uh, I kind of built that here the area so you can sit down and have your breakfast or your lunch and you can go here and have your buffet food obviously it's empty at the moment no one's working and there's only two people there that's how hungry people are in this park so let's come across here so we have the t-rex I also modified this building as well I wanted to change it I didn't want to just plonk down the standard building I do really like the buildings and there's many items on here like the lights um there's a few other items i think as well there's some lights at the back that i really like that i wish that were included in the game then i assume they will be very later on but i really like that curving step here as well and uh yeah i just hope that little camera as well there you can see i just hope that when they do bring out the beta and uh, i think it's like next month maybe hopefully it's sooner or something that they'll add in these items again you've got another open micro raptor area flying around again just part of the area birds coming down here i think i put about 10 on there which is the maximum but uh we're going off track here so yeah this is the extension i built onto the t-rex cafe glass roof coming across a little bit of foliage there to give it that little bit of holiday vibe it looked really good at night i think but at the moment in the game we can't do night i built some plant pots as well just to cut it off i didn't want to use barriers completely and uh yeah i think it looks like kind of a cozy cozy place to have some uh some food maybe at night as well you've got a nice little view we come down here again see i like these lights i hope they add these into the game you can add these in and really make it look really pretty you got a nice little view down here and if you want to have a little walk to the barrier you can and you can see into the habitat you can see there as well the uh the land is not very smoothed off there i tried my best oops it was daisy i tried my best to make that round but the game just wouldn't want to change it so it was either that or delete the path and redo it all and again that would just take me hours and hours we have a dinosaur over there hiding in the stone good idea just keeping out of the way another one over there but again it's a nice little view you've got as you go over from the t-rex cafe so as well another thing i did with the buildings i added in some plants on the top here and uh just wanted to add a bit more i was gonna add some here but i thought it's the toilets so don't overdo it just to add it onto the main building like i have there and i think i've done someone here as well yeah just to give it a little bit more of a naturist feeling or naturist nature feeling more of a more of a sort of yeah greeny vibe to it sometimes i don't know what i'm saying so that's the area i'm trying to think if i missed anything so far uh, there is another habitat over here yeah i've got another habitat over here as well and uh, you down here you can get a really good view as you walk around ends the path ends there just because like i didn't want it to extend over to the airport it's more of a safety reason precaution now, I'm not afraid to make dead ends in parks. I've been to many parks where you walk somewhere and you get to the end, you're like, I've got to walk back now. Um, so, yeah, you can come down here and you've got a lovely view. But if we venture over to the boat now, the boat that I built, I built this over a month ago, I think it was now, and I had many attempts at it. 
And now I've built this boat, if we have a look, it, the more I look at it, it looks like a really, really old kind of a very old English, like a, a canal boat where, you know, the sort of imagine it had a roof on it more, but it had that canal vibe to it. And the, the more I look at it, the more I don't like it. Um, but it was my first attempt at making a boat and it wasn't meant to be like a majestic, uh, like a ferry or anything like that. It was literally a boat to carry people across. Again, it was a suggestion from someone down in the comments, so I am very grateful for you guys making all your comments and suggestions because sometimes my mind goes blank and I don't know what to create and then you drop something down below and it really helps and I love the sort of challenge as well of trying to do something like that. So yeah, I'm, I think in my next park I'm going to add in everything that I have here, the cable car, the hotel, the boats, I'm going to rebuild everything again but hopefully improve on it. Hopefully not make my park like this where it's like 5 frames a second, it's a shame because I really love to show it off a bit more. But I don't want to ruin the footage for you guys. But yes, so that's it guys. That is pretty much the whole entire park. Um, again, we've got five dinosaurs in total, I think, in the game. And I've added them all in. And because we haven't got many buildings, that was the challenge for this park. To build uh, buildings that I thought you could um, realistically imagine to be here. Although, yeah, you could probably say a hotel wouldn't be in a dinosaur park. But I, I mean, if you think of like um, theme parks, there's some theme parks in England where they have hotels built into them. And you can actually spend two or three days at the hotel. Uh, at, the, at the theme park by staying at the hotel so yeah it, it's you know, kind of grasp with a little bit of reality and uh just trying to use imagination as well but that's it guys yeah so it's finally complete it's not the prettiest thing in the world i know that and it is um in terms of planning it out I, it, it was kind of i've had to move things around to kind of make it more compact i had a lot of things scattered around on the island and i had some things like over here and then over here and then put something here and everything was kind of spread out so i just wanted to bring everything together but again, performance-wise, I don't think that helped very much. But yes, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you like, I hope you like it. I um, hope you've enjoyed watching the series as well. And uh, I cannot wait for the next episode to come out. Or not the episode. What am I talking about? The next uh, update for the game, the beta access. So I'm really looking forward to that. And when that comes out, I'll be straight back into this, making uh, some more challenging builds for myself. And uh, I think during the time as well that I will try and continue to build some other structures, just one one-off builds, not make, building apart, but just seeing to create some just yeah some structures. So again, as always, guys, if you've got ideas of buildings you'd like me to create or something you want me to build, it doesn't matter what it is, just drop it down below and I'll see what I can do. See if we can uh, create things in this game because I think you have so much freedom, you're just able to create whatever you kind of want. So and it's nice to be able to learn that as well. So yes, guys, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Apologies for the lag. And hopefully I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.